Okay, so again, powers outside parentheses multiply powers inside parentheses. So every item <clears throat> inside parentheses not showing its power really has a one power. So this guy really has a one power. And that two goes boom, boom, boom. So any item, number or letter, that's inside parentheses, not showing its power, you've got to give it its one power. So that has that one power. Okay, so what do we get then? This would be seven to the two, a to the sixth, b to the twelfth, over seven, a, b to the fifth. <clears throat> Right, so that power, that two, outside the parentheses, multiply the one, the three, and the six. So don't forget to give that seven a one power. That's a common, common mistake. But every item inside parentheses not showing its power really has a one power. Okay, then what do we do? Well, then we're going to subtract powers, right? Um, so when you have like... Um, B to the 12 over B to the five, that's B to the seven powers subtract when they're top and bottom like that. Powers are gonna subtract. So um, yeah, so and that goes for all of them. This, guy, this has got a one power, so two minus one leaves seven to the one. Six minus one is A to the five. Do you see that right there? So that A on the bottom right here really had, it didn't, again, it was not showing its power, really has a one power too. That just comes up all the time. Any letter, any number that's not showing its power really has a one power. So you got to give it its one power and then follow the rules. B to the seven. And so there's our answer and we're done. So what happened? The two minus one, on the, the seven powers of two and one subtracted, the six and one powers on the A's subtracted, six minus one is five, and the B's 12 minus five is seven. And so there we go.